Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the bed on my 3D printer and the 3 Pro to a glass one. Plus, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to level it out. Check out the video. But why would you like to change the build plate in the first place? Well, my 3D printer comes with this magnetic base, okay? And to be absolutely honest with you, um, I haven't been using it that often and it already got damaged slightly. It bent it a little bit and I've got this ridge just in the middle of the plate itself. It's actually fairly hard to clean as well. So what are the benefits of a glass uh, build plate? First of all, it's actually very easy to clean and wash it. So it's ready in no time for your next print. Next, it may actually help with a very common problem when it comes to 3D printers. Uh, the base itself of the 3D printer is prone to warping, okay? And a base plate like this one can help with that. In my case, I've got the original Creality um, build plate. It's four millimeters in thickness, uh, glass one side, and the top one is actually uh, quite rigid. You know, you've got a pattern on the top, so it's not smooth. However, on the other side, you do have a ultra smooth um, surface. And now we actually arrived at the next thing that you want to think about. Now on the reverse side of this plate, as I said, is really smooth, like a piece of glass. And if you want to have um, your bottom of your print really nice and smooth, that's what you may use to do your print on. On top of it, these are more durable. If you know, if your bed is leveled correctly and your nozzle will actually not come in contact with it, not scratch it, then these will last a lot longer than the magnetic versions. Because it's glass, it will also conduct the heat a lot better. So it will heat up quicker and hold the heat better. So with these points out of the way, let's install one of these on my 3D printer. So first of all, we just need to remove the magnetic plate that we already got there, okay? Next, you do have this layer of magnetic sheeting over here on the plate itself, okay? Now, uh, there are several reports saying that if you were to put the glass bed on top of it, a lot of people are getting an issue where this magnetic sheet will actually stick to the glass itself. Now, I'm not going to be using the magnetic sheets anymore, hence I'm going to try to remove this film. Now, to do that, the easiest way, I think, I'm going to preheat the bed to 60 degrees Celsius and I'm going to peel uh, this layer off. Okay, now with the bed heated, I'm going to try to remove this magnetic layer. and just work your way around the plate until this is removed. Okay, so I managed to take off this layer. I did tear it apart a little bit, so definitely I won't be able to use it again. I still got some glue residue on the plate itself, so that's what you need to remove as well. Okay, so with the base now squeaky clean, no residue from the glue, before you're actually gonna install the a glass plate on, we need to adjust the stop that's on the side just over here, okay? Because this is four millimeter thick and the one before was not that thick. Undo these two bolts that are holding the stop. And as you know, there's a plastic shelf just over here that actually rests on this aluminium profile here. So what do you need to do? Grab your plate, take this up and lower it down, okay? And now we have added those four millimeters to this stop. So what you want to do, take it down just like so. That's our main position and just secure it. 
adjusting this stop will make sure that we're not going to hit this um, glass plate with the nozzle of our printer. Now we can add our new printing base to the printer bed itself, just like so. And to make sure it actually stays in place, what you can use is these metal paper clips. Okay, so they're all made from metal, that's from metal, um, so there won't be any issues when it comes to transferring the heat to them. They should stay in this space you're going to put them. Okay, in total I'm going to add four, two at the front, two at the back. Now if you've got all the solutions for that, please by all means use something else. Uh, but for me, I think this will be a perfect setup. Just remember that any design you're going to be printing, it will avoid um, those spaces on the bed itself so you don't print over it or accidentally run the nozzle of your 3D printer on those clips. Right, so the next step is to actually get this bed leveled correctly. Okay, I'm going to just go for outer home first. Next, if there's any residue on the nozzle itself, uh, we need to make sure we take it off. So we've got a nice and clean nozzle. Next, from the settings, we need to disable the stepper motors. I'm going to set up the nozzle itself to be about 2 cm in on each side of this base. Now what you've got underneath the base itself, you've got some really large adjustment wheels, okay? They will take the base up or down. And I'm going to use the paper trick to actually get this base leveled, okay? So what you need to do is put the piece of paper underneath the nozzle and raise or lower the bed to a point where the paper is barely touching the nozzle. So as you are pulling the paper, you can feel slight resistance. Okay, so the first one is done. Now very carefully move it to the other side, to the other corner. Now what do I say move it really slowly and carefully? If the bed is not level, if it's for example too high, you may scratch your glass surface with the nozzle of your printer. Okay, and do this for all the four corners. Okay, so I've done one run. So each time you do adjustment to one wheel, it will slightly change the position of the table itself and you may need additional adjustment to the other corners. So I'm going to repeat this process in total three times to make sure. Two times is the absolutely bare minimum. So I'm going to take it to the front again and straight away I can see it's definitely too close to the plate itself. If I carried on further pushing the base I would actually scratch the surface with the nozzle. Okay, so it's very important to make these changes go through all the corners at least three times. Right, at this point I've got it perfect, but I also want to check the middle of the bed. Absolutely perfect. Right, with everything set up correctly, our new glass base, everything's nice and leveled, let's print out a test piece. And off it goes. And there you go, the print is finished. Okay, look at that nice and smooth surface on the base itself. Really nice, really nice. Quality print, 
no issues at all just going to remove the uh, support from the middle and we can have a quick chat I have to say so far so good the glass base is absolutely fantastic it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and hopefully it will serve me a long time one thing that you need to remember is that you know you should be really checking the how level your base is ever so often so I would say I don't know every three or four prints uh, for sure it's definitely worth checking as you know as it works things move around and um, you know it may actually go out of level so it's definitely worth going through that procedure from time to time and checking if everything's fine so you will get really nice and good quality prints for me to start with I'm messing around with some bench dogs so obviously it's a woodworking project for me and that will come in the future I will be making a video on all the bench dogs are made and what they are and you know how they've been designed so if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it in the future if you're interested in the plate I've got I'm going to drop some links down below in the description of this video or even on how to set up this machine or my other upgrades to this Ender 3 Pro um, 3D printer I've got you all covered so all the links to the videos I've got about this machine will be down below in the description of this video or you can actually check them out just over here there should be some links um, to those videos just on that side thank you so much for watching thank you for your time take care